Lalande de Pomerol today. Lalande de Pomerol are only ever red wines, less prestigious than its namesake, and just a little north of Le Bourne, village outside Bordeaux. Lalande de Pomerol is a syndicate of dozens of chateaux, really small winemakers, not grand Loire built on slavery type architecture. These reds are predominantly made up of Merlot, but also Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon and Malbec grapes. Merlot in the gravel and clay soils, Cabernet in the alluvial sandy soils towards the river. The Barban River stream really separates saint Emilion. The Merlot gives it an aroma, what it smells like, an expressive and distinctive nose with red berry notes. When the wine is aged in oak barrels, it develops plum, leather, game and coconut notes. I don't think I've got ADHD that I don't really give it more time with the wine than I recognise red berry notes, and there's more to it than just red berry notes. <sighs> Put it in the imagination. Leather and coconut, it's no, really. No, the palate, the taste of it. I've got much more interest in. A firm expression with tight but silky tannins. Which as a description takes me off back to the beach, but I will point out that there's the same chateau name, the same owners sometimes, at completely different ends of the country. And there's the same chateau name with completely different owners at completely different ends of the country. They obviously produce very different wines, they're not allowed to mix them. But they are allowed to con confuse the consumer. So you may get a Chateau Lafitte from south of the Rhone or the very north of the Rhone Valley, almost Beaujolais. You get a very picturesque, Instagrammable Moulin Avente, Chateau Moulin Avente in Beaujolais, the most northerly reds. That's obviously very different. And there's the Lalande Pomerol Moulin Avente. Vente. I should be saying Moulin Avente. Pardon. <laughs>